Hello and welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel, whichever one it may be. And if you are new here, please feel free to like, subscribe, comment, do all those wonderful things and uh, help the channel out, kind of. Uh, yeah, if you like it. If you don't like my content, well, uh, you don't have to join. You don't have to. All right, anyway, I am going to be doing a, just a standard little whip and chat. It's been a minute since I did a whip and chat. And I'm going to be working on this July canvas because it's July. Let's go ahead and get this ready here. All right. And I'll probably turn it into a TikTok short. So if I take like little pauses, that's that's kind of why. So I can just kind of grab little short clips of the video for TikTok. <laughs> anyway, let's see. We got some drills here. Nice, nice drills. Are they nice? Or are they gonna be horrible? Let's see. Need one color. Yeah, number one. And I'm gonna use this tray, which is my Alice tray. I got from Isabella Art de Nicole. And her trays. Really nice tray. I've actually I've been loving these trays. Really have. They're really nice. Really easy to work with. And I actually use the stoppers on these. Like on other trays, I don't use the stoppers, but on these, I've been using the stoppers. So there's that. And then I'm gonna use this pen. This was from Jim's Handmade Pen Shop. And I am using this wax from Randa's. I'm also using the, the putty from Randa's. Uh, I think that's it. <laughs> Let's see. This has like a really, really big, I don't normally do this, but it has a really big out down here and I don't want it hitting my hands. So I'm just gonna put some washi tape down here because it's like really, like it extends really far on the canvas there. All right, hopefully this will flatten out. It's been sitting rolled up because it kind of kept it in a, a, like a little toolbox thing. I have these little toolboxes that I use to hold pens and wax and putty and other odds and ends that I need for diamond painting. So what, when I am out in the living room, I don't have everything kind of just out and about. It's all kind of contained. Not that, that ever seems to do anything because I always end up with everything out and about anyway. <laughs> it, it just does. It just seems to end up just kind of out and about and everywhere. Um, this looks like it's going to be a really nice one. Really simple, really easy to work with. I don't think I'm going to do too much in the changes department on this one. So let's see. It has been a good bit since I last did a whip and chat. Probably over a month at least, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, but that's, you know, like, hi, what's up? Ribble. Rib pebble. What are you doing? Mini man. Nothing. He's not answering. But he wows big time and then nothing. Anyway. This is needing a little refresh on the wax because it's just I'm not saying I love this wax. I always try to use stuff that I have because I've spent money on this stuff and I, I try to use it but I can't say I'm, I'm feeling this particular wax. And I've definitely spent enough money on diamond painting products over the years to not have to worry about things for a while. Just a little bit, a little bit of stuff. So, uh, let's 
see. Let's see. Yeah, so it's been a hot minute since I did a whip and chat, but that's because I feel like my life is just kind of boring. Like, I go to work, I come home, I go to sleep, I get up, eat something, go to work again, come home, go to sleep. And then on our days off, it's been so hot out. We just really, and we, we've been kind of broke. So we just really haven't been doing anything because, you know, like in order to go out, you kind of need money. <laughs> You don't have any, you can't really go do anything, so. Yeah, so we've just been kind of chilling. Chilling at the house, so there's not really a whole lot to talk about. We, the new job's been okay, but I will say that on the four days that I work, I just don't have time to do anything else because you you wake up you go to work when you're working a 12-hour shift I think too like it really really makes a difference for how much time you have in your day so it's but it's not bad it's not horrible it's a job it's, it's okay and there could be worse things Um, do I have a better red? No. Oh, uh, yeah, that red's looking pretty good. Is that the one that's over in the... That's a better red, though, and it's not even... Well, I guess I'll use you for the U. I... I don't really know, like, what to talk about. Like I said, like, it's been kind of... Kind of bleh. We've been playing a lot of Fortnite, because I, basically I have like a, about an hour to an hour and a half before we just head off to work again on our days that we're working. So I just kind of chill and play Fortnite and stuff. Um, you hear Rebel? Can you hear the Rebel? You've been, you've been out. You don't need to go out. You can stay in for a little bit. Go beat up Winnie. Don't go beat up Winnie. It's mean. That's mean. Don't go beat up Socks either. Leave her alone. She doesn't want you. She's stressing. Poor Socks. Stressing. I was going to give her a quiet, quiet four days. Kind of put a litter box, some food, and some water, and... The room that I'm in right now, if I could figure out how to get the door closed. Currently, the door is tucked behind a cat tree and there's no handle on the door. There's no doorknob, no, no door handle, nothing. So, <laughs> and it's tucked behind a cat tree. So if I could figure out how to get the door closed, <laughs> then I could try to give Socks a nice quiet, relaxing break, because she's been stressing hardcore, and I get it, because this guy, come here, Rebel, come here, Rebel, this guy, yeah, his paw, <laughs> he's gonna diamond paint, Ugh. sit, there you go, here you go, you hold the diamond painting pen, you die in paint. No? Okay. <laughs> Rebel here. You can't see him. He's in my lap, but he's he's here. There's his head. Has been annoying her. And he's not particularly being a bully to her but he is kind of being a bully to her like I, I don't know how to explain it he's just being a bit of a pest to her because all she does is hiss and run so she kind of like makes herself into a target in a way because she hisses and runs from him yeah I hear you She's in here with me. I didn't even realize she was in here. <laughs> Looking at the birds. But it's weird because he will only do this when he's frustrated 
at us. So he only does it in front of us when he's frustrated at us for not giving him what he wants because he's a spoiled, rotten little pain in the butt. <laughs> that I love to pieces. So he's not going anywhere, but I was just going to try to give her a, a little bit of a break from him. Maybe from the other cats. I was thinking of putting her sister in with her. So then it's just the, the two quiet girls together, the two older girls. Just kind of chilling. And then see how that goes before opting for a vet visit to see what we can do. I, I have thought about ordering this stuff. Jackson Galaxy has a, like a package for cats who are kind of bullies. And I've thought about ordering that, but the last time I got anything, I got him a, like a calming collar and he just, I don't know, it just made him miserable. Like you could just tell he was not happy. It was suppressing some of his normal happy cat behavior. And then I guess there's always the, like the pheromone thing, the thing you plug into the wall and it helps calm them down. Maybe that would help him. I really don't know <laughs> at this point, but I have thought about getting the Jackson Galaxy one. It's just that after he wore the calming collar, I, I worry what it would do to his, like his normal personality that we love so much. We had to do something because poor socks. She's, she's struggling. And now I gotta go check that out. Huh. Yeah, I think we need to do something. <laughs> That's the other thing he does, is he starts actually wrecking the house because he's not getting what he wants. Oh, it's not fun. It's not fun. We'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. We'll get him, him. I was gonna say fixed, but he's already fixed. <laughs> he's already fixed and he's almost two and he's just, he's like a boundless ball of just continuous energy. It's like, he's not a normal cat. He never stops. <laughs> he's my rebel. <laughs> That's what it is. He's just my little rebel. I just let him go outside because it's, it, honestly, it's been the easiest thing to do with him is to let him go outside and get the energy out running around outside. I, I could play with him with a toy, but he doesn't play. Like he'll play, but it doesn't, it doesn't get the, the frustration and the, I don't know, the energy out the way going outside seems to. Cause I know like, Sending cats outside, like, it's a, a big thing for people. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh, you shouldn't let your cats out to live shorter lives. Yeah, but he's so happy. Like, how can I deny him this absolute pure happiness? Just because, like, I want him to live a longer, healthier, happier life. Yeah, I do want him to live a long, happy, healthy life. And, you know, like, we've had cats live outside our all my life. I'm gonna make that one one bigger. Just yeah. They just don't look like hearts. <laughs> trying to figure out how to make that look more like a heart, cause they just don't look like like hearts. If we make it one bigger, then it'll look like a heart, right? Do that down. Down. Yeah, I think, I think, I think that'll work. Now the June one was so nice. Yeah, see any D, see any more D in the, the cup. Don't worry about it over there, I don't care about it over there. In the cup. <laughs> I don't see any more. I know there's one right there, but I'm not doing that one. All right, I think that's good. I'm gonna put you in, uh, not that one. Let's use 
Oh, look, this one's already got some trash in it. That tray. There we go. All right. I don't know how long this video has been. I feel like once you get talking about something, you can just talk about it. But yeah, so he's outside. <laughs> It just makes our life easier to just let him get that energy out how he wants to get it out. Uh, and we live on like far enough away from the road that I'm not worried about the road aspect. They don't really go that direction anyway. They tend to go towards the back of the house and run around and we have like a shed and stuff that they can kind of like crawl under and through and in because it's like this old dilapidated ish shed that needs to be torn down. But it has like a huge hole in the floor and they love it because they can just <laughs> they can literally just run through the shed. <laughs> like it turns into a cat jungle gym basically. <laughs> So, yeah, I think it used to be like a chicken coop or something. We've been using it as kind of a shed where there's actually floor space. We've got our garden tools and our mower and stuff in there, but it's, it's not. It's not good. It is what it is. Not the, not my mower. Not my big mower. That's not in there. Call it my mower. <laughs> I do all the mowing, so it's my mower. Um, so, yeah, so I was thinking of giving socks a little bit of a break from everything. Let her have stuff. A chill. Yeah, she's in here with me, chilling on, on the windowsill. They love to sit at the window and look out. So I have two like stacks of totes over there because we still haven't finished on packing from moving so there's these two stacks of like boxes and totes and on top of them i've put blankets and the cats just absolutely love it so if i ever do get around to unpacking those totes maybe i'll just keep them there as cat beds or just get a cat tree for that window they'd probably love that too but being, you know, on the, the broke side, I think the totes is a perfectly good idea for a place for the cats to sleep. And they don't have to spend any more money. Just got to get around to, honestly, finishing up the house. I want to paint walls and do stuff like that. So a lot of stuff kind of just got put on holds when I was 